Hi, Laura here from Bird Star Work. Today I'm going to be doing some looks with the Rock and Royal Revolution Pro palette, which looks like this. So I'm an artist and a makeup lover. And I love to play with colour, and whether it's on my eyes or in my art. And I like to share my journey in colour with you and hopefully inspire you to play with colour too. And this is one of the looks that I did. This is look three. So I'll do some swatches and show you what they look like and so let's get into it. So today I'm going to try out the Revolution Pro Rock and Royal palette which looks like this and I used it for this look here and um, <laughs> I was making a um, Revolution order online and um, I thought I'd ordered the blue one but when it came I had actually ordered the purple one which I'm not mad at because it is a pretty palette and this colour in particular I thought was really pretty so um we will swatch it. It's got one of these plastic things with the names in it, so I will have to look at the plastic to find out the names. So I'm going to just swatch it from there across. So the first one is called Majesty. So very bronzy. It's a kind of a pinky bronze. It's actually quite nice. And the next one is called Curtain, which is this one here. Some matte. I'm going to do two swatches on that. And then the next one is called Duchess, this one here. It's a very dark colour. Also shimmer. And then the next one is called Guild, which is this very light pinky champagne shimmer. So it feels nice and soft. It's quite um, just smooth out the crumble. But it's kind of but you can see how pinky that is, hopefully. And the next one is called Noble, which is this bright, bright purple here. Very dark, deep royal purple. Look how shiny that is on my finger. Like this? There you go. Oh, it does not swatch well though. My first swatch that does not swatch well at all. And it's not a particularly soft shimmer, it's quite a hard pack shimmer. So that was, that was two coats. And the next one, I'm going to go down to this one, which is called Pose. Oh, it's got little gold glitters in it. So it's, it's a more neutral brown. And it's got little gold glitters in it, and I don't know that you'll be able to see that on camera. And the next one is called Knighted. Which, again, doesn't swatch that well, but I can tell you it works well on the eye because I used it here. So it's got a kind of a gritty feel to it, that one. And the next one is called Bow. Which, if you can call a purple neutral, this would be a neutral purple to me. So I did two sw um, swatches on that one. And the next one, which is an intriguing colour, Aristocrat. This one here. It looks like it's got a duochrome shift to it. It's 
see what it looks like. So it's kind of a browny, rusty, orangey base, and then it's got a little bit purple shift. Again, I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well. And then rain is the last one. That one feels nice. And it's a very, um, it's not a blingy shimmer like these ones. It's kind of a light shimmer. So you could probably blend that one out as a match as well in the crease. So that is what that looks like. Here's another view of those swatches. So you can see a little bit of the purple shift in that one. And can I'm not sure if it's focusing properly. You might be able to see a few of the glitches. I can't hold it and get it to focus at the same time. There you go. You see the glitters in that brown one. And there's that one with the shift in it. Okay, so my first time using this Rock and Royal palette. BH Cosmetics and I really want to use this colour here and at this stage I haven't even swatched them so I don't know what they're going to look like but you would have seen them swatched while you're watching this and I'm going to go first into Nighted it's got one of these little plastic sheets with the nose on it so Nighted is this pinky one here for a, a purple palette a lot of it doesn't look very purple because I would call this one purple and this one purple and a lot of them, the rest of them are kind of neutrally and um, more pinky than purple to me. That's just my impression of it. So, I'm going to go into Nighted. It's, um, if I put pink next to this, then it would look purple, but it's a very pinky purple. But it, it is a very pretty colour. And it's going on really nicely because I'm using a very big fluffy brush as well. But I like it. Well, I think um, it might be a good idea to compare this one to the ColourPop My Pleasure palette. So, I might do that at the end. brush is so soft. This is one of my BH Cosmetics brushes, number six, and it feels so nice on my eye. I haven't actually put makeup on for most of this week because we've had some things going on and I just haven't got around to it and I um, I filmed at the beginning of the week, <laughs> like in the weekend I should say. It's the weekend again now so that was like a week ago. <laughs> and then um, some guys came out because we're on level three on the lockdown now so if um, people don't have any contact they can come and do work on your house and so we had the guys come in and do a bit on the roof that they had planned to do a year ago and they've only just come now <laughs> um, yeah. so it's been noisy so I haven't been able to film and just been editing and uploading and um, mission now <laughs> watching YouTube instead. That's pretty cool. It blends nicely. Okay, it can build up um, a lot brighter than what I have done because when you first put it on it was a lot brighter but I actually don't want it too bright so I've buffed it out quite a lot. I haven't got a pale colour that's not a shimmer yet for blending out up here so I'm just going to leave it like that for now and we'll see what, what we do at the end. And I think we're going to paint 
little brush. And I think I'm going to go into this one here, which is called Bow. darker version of the colour that I just used, or darker, more muted version. So it works really well to blend that out. I'm wearing like fluorescent green and yellow today, so I decided to put purple on my eyes. <laughs> I'm always attracted to purple and yellow together. I don't know why. They're opposites on the colour wheel. But I just like them together. And they have purple eyes and yellow clothes. So I'm just blending that out a little bit more with that nighter colour. That is really a pretty colour. I like that. Purple is not a colour that um, just suits me really easily. I have to go for more warm purples normally. And next. I'm going to go in with this colour here because this is just a gorgeous colour and it is called Noble. It's not picking up on the brush terribly well. Let me see. Yeah, it hasn't picked up very well on the brush. It's a bit flaky. And against those pinky purples, it looks blue. <laughs> but I'm sure if you put it next to a blue, it would look purple. What colour do I want to use next? Go in with Guild, which is this one here. It's a nice warm champagne colour. And then I think I will go in with I might go in with this one here. And that is called curtain. I'm blending out those two so it's not such a harsh line. This one's not a shy line, this one is a match. I go in with my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil and whatever this one's called, Purple Rain. I go in with this one again. Oh, just the outer corner there. And then go into this one. I'm just going to grab a bit more of that gold in the other corner and I might put some of this just here and then smudge it out with my finger it's like a warm pinky Champagne, it's perfect to go with these kind of colours here. It's looking pretty dramatic. <laughs> it's much more dramatic than I was thinking. It's not doing anything else over there. And there is my finished purple look with the rock and Royal Revolution Pro palette. 
And I used, um, for my highlight today, I used the BH Cosmetics Duo Light Highlighter. And I used this one here. Which the beautiful Kelly Wesley sent to me as a makeup swap. And on my lips, I am wearing my Rimmel Kate 43, which looks like this. Because I wanted a nice neutral colour to go with all that purple and yellow that I'm wearing. I'll do some comparison swatches with the It's My Pleasure palette, if I can see any of that look similar. So this one's with my black flip, Fitbit on, is the My Pleasure. It's my pleasure palette from Colourpop, and the top one is the Rock and Royal palette. So you can see if any of those kind of line up. There's some similarities. There are similarities, but they're not exactly the same. None of the colours actually completely dupe this. This one and this one are similar but this one's a lot shinier. So that was interesting. It's good to know that they're both quite different. Look too with the Rock and Royal palette. And today, I think I'm going to go in with Bow first, which is this one here. It's just the plastic lemonade falling down. I'm going to stick that in my crease. And I didn't say last time, but I always prep my eyes the same way. I've been using the Milani eyeshadow primer. So it gets a on my eyes. In case you were wondering. And I'm actually going to go into this colour here, which is called Pose. And I'm going to pretend it's matte. And then I'm going to go into Majesty, which is the top one here. I'm going to pretend that one's matte too. And that's not. <laughs> and I'm really buffing this out. I'm doing a lot of blending. And then I'm going to go in. Mm. I'm going to use my Instapop crease brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to go in with what am I going to go in with? I think I'm going to go in with this one here. Is that what I used the last one? No. Um, so curtain. I'm going to use curtain. And then I'm going to go in with this colour heel aristocrat, this one here. And first of all I'm just going to put it on without spraying it to see how it goes. So I wanted to echo some of the brown in the middle there. I'm going to see what happens if I spray this. I'm going to use a smaller brush now. If it brings 
things out more of it. Blow your shaft. Doesn't really make much difference. So right in the middle there, I'm going to go into Guild, which is this one here, just to lighten up the boom at all. Oh. <laughs> it was um, a lot brighter and shinier than I was expecting. <laughs> so I just want to catch the light a little bit as you turn your head. I think it was a mistake. To use that colour, that's a bit dark, that colour. I might go in with some knighted, this pink here. Just to kind of lighten the look a bit. I'm going to use my brownie goods pencil. Oh. It's one of the master drama ones and um, they're really lovely and soft and easy to use. On a smudging brush. And then I'm going to go back into Persian. So that's where we are at so far. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and then come back. So this is where we are at at the moment and I think I'm going to go back into the palette and I think I'm going to put some of this colour here just a little bit under here. And I want to use my Granny Glitz pencil in the waterline, if I can get it to work. And I want to go in to my highlighter palette. I'm using the Sofax Revolution highlighter palette. And I want to go into this pink here. into this white for under my brow bone. And for lipstick I'm going to try the Sephora Oil Infusion and this is in lavender and the lovely Helene from Hmm Makeup gave me this. I've got a little bit of gloss on so I'll take that off. Look number three using the Rock and Royal palette. And today I'm going to start with this colour here, which is Pose. I 
almost comes up a lot darker than I expect that colour. I'm sure it is the same colour, but yeah, it is. It just maybe it's the purple background on there. I just feel like it's lighter than it is when I stick it on my eyes. It's like, oh that's darker than I thought it was gonna be. I think I'm going to go into rain. This one here. As in the queen is raining, no. It's pouring with rain. And I want a little brush for that one. I'm going to put this one in my crease. I'm going to use a little bit of glitter glue. I don't think these colours really need it, but because I've put lots of dark on there and I don't want to do a cut crease, I'm just going to use a bit of good glitter glue to um, go over where I want the lighter colour to go. I'm just using the e.l.f. glitter glue. And I'm going to go into Majesty, which is this colour here. Guild, which is the lightest colour in the palette. And do just brighten up the inner bit of it. And I shall tight line. And I'm going to do a little wing with my Mix Mac liquid liner. I blinked. Now I've got black all over my lid. That wasn't the plan. You just use the um, spoolie to gently take some of that mistake off and then went over it with some powder so you can't even tell I made a mistake now. So it's good. Now I've got quite a bit of fallout all over my face. And for the bottom lash line I'm going to use my gel in what's this one called paradise purple which looks like this it's gonna be my favorite purple eyeliner pencil that one and I'm gonna go over it with noble which is that color there Leave the eyes there for now and I'll do the rest of my face and then I'll come back. So here is where we are at. And I'm going to go into my BYS Highlighter 2 palette and I'm going to get Luna here to do my inner corner. And I think I want to use a little bit of that and I'm going to use a fluffy brush. Just to go on the tops of my cheeks. There's a little extra pop of highlight. I really like this highlighter palette. 
the colours show up as the colours but they're not too dark. Now, lip today, I think. I'm going to go neutral. I'm going to go... Mm, I think I'm going to go more brown. Hang on, I'll have to go get one. So here's the Stay Matte Liquid Lip from Rimmel in Mocha. So look for, I'm going to do something a little different because I'm going to add something into this look and not just use the palette. So I'm going to go into this pink here. And I don't want too much of it. I just want a very light wash. So I'm tapping my brush on. I'm just getting a little wee bit. And then I'm going into the same colour and sticking it on my lid. And then I'm going to go into this colour here, which is called Bow. So that one was knighted and that one was Bow. Deepening out the outer corner a little. So I think I want a different brush. I'm going to use my little teeny tiny brush, which hasn't got a name on it. I've forgotten where I got it from now. And then I'm going to go in with my in green. Oh, this is a super shop shadow. Which looks like this. And I'm going to use a brush if I can because I can't get in here with my finger very well. I think I might go into, I'm going to go into rain, this one here. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll come back. So that is where we're at at the moment. And um, I'm going to go into my BH Opalescent palette and I'm going to go into Magic. And put that in my inner corner. And there is my final look. And I went in with the Joe Fresh Lip Cream in Wine, which the beautiful Helene from Her Makeup sent me. I went over that with the Sephora Oil Infusion in Lavender, which she also sent me. And there is my final look. Adding a few bits in. So I wanted to try something before I give my final thoughts on this palette and um, I haven't tried Duchess this colour here and I think it's because it looks very close to this colour here and although they are a little different I don't know that they're different enough to make much of a difference on the eyes. So. One's more of a purple and one's more of a brown. So Duchess is the more browny coloured one. And the other one is called Rain. And so I wanted to put one on each eye and see if you can really tell much of a difference. So first of all, I'm going to go into Duchess. And I'm just going to Put it on the crease there and blend it out. It's a really deep colour. And then I'm 
going to go into rain. It does look quite different doing it that way. But it's more purpley. I think this one's supposed to be more of a warm purple, but it looks just like brown to me. <laughs> I'm just going to use my finger and then go to rain. They, they are quite different. But they're equally as dark as each other. This one's just more of a cooler purple and this one's more of a brownie berry colour. So I just wanted to see what that was like. Okay, so my final thoughts on this palette is that although this one and this one are different colours, I don't think they're both necessary. I think rain is good because it's definitely more purpley. I think they could have taken this one out and put something lighter in like what I've put on the inner corner because um, I think that's what this one's missing for me. It's a lighter shimmer purple. It's if you want a, a grungy purple palette I would say this is a grungy purple palette because all the looks you get are quite dark and smoky. So it's a it's definitely good for that and quite different from the other purple palettes and the looks I get with those ones. So um, all the colours worked really well. None of them gave me a problem. They all worked well. Every single colour went on well, blended well. The, the trickiest one was probably this one, which did not swatch well at all, but it went on okay on the eyes the way I used it. Um, I didn't try it all over the lid, which may be more tricky, but um, all the other colours I would have no hesitation in saying they all worked really well. It was just, this one was a bit trickier, but um, I'm willing to work with that colour because um, I love it so much. I did have trouble coming up with colour schemes to use with that colour in this palette because it kind of doesn't fit in with all these berry reds. I mean, berry purples. <laughs> so that's why I think if there was like a colour like like this one, which it's a kind of a it doesn't really show up very well, but you can see it on my eyes anyway. It's a kind of a, a lavender blue that would go well with this one. Or even just a, like a shimmer like this one here, which I've got on my inner corner. I think instead of, yeah, I don't know, I, I can't do that. <laughs> instead of this one here, I think if we had this one in there instead, it would have just made it a little bit more versatile for me. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> you might not agree with it at all, and that's fine. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!